Hello and welcome to another tutorial of Roller Coaster Tycoon 3 brought to you by the letter tape. Today we're going to be focusing on peep codes. No, I didn't say cheat codes, I said peep codes. These are codes that are going to enhance features or unlock features or you know, just allow you to do things that you normally can't do in the game. Uh, similar to the options.txt edits. If you're not familiar with that, I encourage you to watch that tutorial. Now I want to make a special note here. I am using the Platinum Edition of Roller Coaster Tycoon 3. So maybe some of these things will work for me and not for you. If you're using Roller Coaster Tycoon 3 with one of the add-on packs, Soaked or Wild, you'll probably be okay. If you're using the base Roller Coaster Tycoon 3 and you have it fully updated, then you'll probably be okay. But I just got to say, I'm using the Platinum Edition. So if you do exactly what I do and it doesn't work for you, then either you typed something wrong or you've got a different version. Okay, so let's get right into it. How you enable a peep code is you click on a peep. And if you don't see their name here, you click on the general information button, which is the I, and you'll see their name. And all you have to do to enable the code is you type it here and hit enter. That changes the name of the peep. So now this particular peep is named, type it here. But there are certain things that you have to type in, of course. And that's what we're going to look at now. The first one that addresses height restrictions. Alrighty, so here we are in the first one, uh, height restrictions. So here I have a roller coaster built. And if you look all the way up, it's all the way up to 564 feet. And if you don't know how to enable that, it's just within view controls and then toggle the height indicators for the ride. So here we are at 564 feet. If I try to build any higher, I'm told that you cannot place a track piece there. What it means is that I cannot place a track piece at that height. So a way around that is using a peep code. So if I close out of construction here and I select a peep and I click on general information, Ginger is going to help us out today. Ginger is going to do her best in order to impersonate John Wardley. That's J-O-H-N-W-A-R-D-L-E-Y. Then hit enter, and that's it. You're not going to see any flash on the screen. There's not going to be any message letting you know something happened. But if we go back to this coaster, click on it, go back into construction, there we go. We can build all the way up into the sky, build some ridiculously tall roller coaster. But that restriction has now been removed for as long as the program is running. Now let's move on to the next one. So now we're going to be moving into the Advanced Fireworks Editor. Now within Scenery and Mixmaster, And in Add Mixmaster Display, if you click on this display area, or actually within here, to add a new item, the water jets have an advanced water jet designer, the lasers have an advanced laser designer, but the fireworks do not. Well, they do, but it's hidden. And that's where we will be using the peep code. So the code for this one is Guido. Fox. So, Joseph here will be Guido, F-A-W-K-E-S, that's G-U-I-D-O, F-A-W-K-E-S, enter. Now we'll go back to Mixmaster, and we'll go back to Add Mixmaster Display, we'll click on this area here, Expand Fireworks, and now we have the Advanced Fireworks Editor. Now, in order to use the editor, 
where I will direct you is to Davy499, his channel. He has a lot of tutorials specifically on the fireworks editor. He's a fireworks master and you're really going to get the best help you can possibly get from there. So once again, that's Davy499 to get help on how to use this. Okay, let's move on to the next one. So let's move things along here and try to cover two peep codes at once. The first one will be related to an air-powered coaster and just a regular coaster uh, with lift chains. There are limits on the launch speed of an air coaster. This one right now is at 111 miles per hour that it can launch at. Um, there, so it's as far as it can go. And now for this regular coaster, the lift chain speed, let's see how far we can uh, raise that to. So uh, 16 miles per hour, that's the limit there. But once again, our friends the peeps, Grayson is going to show us how we can pass that up. And it's going to be unlimited launch and chain speeds with David Braben. So D-A-V-I-D-B-R-A-B-E-N. D-A-V-I-D-B-R-A-B-E-N. Enter. Now let's go back to this air-powered coaster and just keep going and going and going so you can uh, obviously make a very 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 fast launch and if we click over this other coaster I'm sure you're going to expect this result so there you go so there's the first one and the other may not be necessary um, depending on what version you have if you click on both of these there's this low friction option that you can check uh, and as you can see here, it just adds the uh, better quality lubricants that uh, makes the coaster go faster, not slow down quite as well, yada yada. So each one has that option. If you do not have that option, or you just want to use this code in conjunction with it, or you don't want to check the boxes, there is reduced friction, which would be Andrew Thomas but in this case I don't think there's really gonna be anything visual you're gonna see here because we already have that option but like I say if you didn't have that option in your version you may be able to enable the Andrew Thomas peep code Okie dokie, let's move on